Since the early 1980s, the U.S. military has been gathering data on every one of their bird strikes. In 1990, commercial aviation followed suit, launching an ambitious project, the National Wildlife Strike Database. Since then, more than 200,000 strikes have been reported. This data has revealed the exact moment when planes are most vulnerable to a bird strike. Takeoff. But on January 15, 2009, Objective 1549, the mystery of flight US 1549 was that it was safely through takeoff. They were flying almost at 3,000 feet at five miles out from the runway. I mean, this is the envelope where your, your chances of having a bird strike go down significantly. Through microscopic analysis, the team narrowed the search down to two types of geese. The lighter, Brant, and the much heavier, Canada goose. Determining which species brought down flight US 1549 was crucial. Here we have a museum study skin of a Canada goose. Comparing feathers to a specimen like this um, is very important because birds have tens of thousands of feathers on their body, and there are a lot of variation in a single individual. You can see the neck feathers are black, you know, the breast feathers are sort of brown, there's white feathers on the under tail coverts and, and the belly, and then there's solid black feathers on the upper tail, dark brown on the back, so there's a lot of variation even in one single individual bird, and so matching a feather to a bird is a quite complicated process and it really takes a lot of experience. Within the 69 bags of evidence, the team found 18 samples that yielded viable DNA. They inputted the results into an online DNA database and they matched 99 to 100% to one species. So Monday morning, you know, we all come running in. Did the sequences come off the plate? What's the answer? Uh, did we get this right? Uh, and then whenever it came back, Brana canadensis, which is Canada goose, and we were all like, yes. This is a key finding for engineers. Canada geese weigh an average of seven to 10 pounds, much heavier than the engines were certified to withstand. What's more, Canada geese fly in flocks. Designing engines that can survive an impact with multiple large birds is a near impossible challenge. But it's now more important than ever that engines can withstand a bird strike. <laughs> 